What is happening, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. First of all, I just want to say thank you for joining me for another episode, and I want to apologize for the last episode that went up. Sorry about the weird cuts that happened in it, and for the length, and how much I sucked. But I promise, well, I will be, I was going to say, will be getting better. I will be getting better as we play the game more. Um, you know, revisiting it was tough. Um, tough on me playing, because obviously not into it at all, having jumped into a mission like that. So I suck quite a bit. But, like I said, we're warmed up now. Having just recorded that long-ass episode, I'm going to give it a nice, uh, a nice edit. Or I did give it a nice edit. Well, I'm, I'm going to give it a nice edit. I did give it a nice edit. Hopefully it was smooth, because I haven't done it yet. And I just want to say thank you for your support. So let us see. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest what is up you now? Cream, BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers. No washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. You really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Oh no, we're here to meet someone, so another time. Plus, I don't want to be doing this shit. Hey, uh, what'll it be? You know with what? you guys. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> Some things sure aren't things, allowed Dad. on YouTube. Some things are not allowed on YouTube. Reconsidered, huh? Oh, okay. We have to go in. Okay, Spoke. well, here we go. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it. I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Okay, well, we're not going to be looking at naked girls everywhere. My. What a sweet little face you have. That tattoo is terrible, love. Get that shit cleaned up. Oh, I'm really not interested. Very simple, very com- uh, blah, blah, blah. I generally don't read this nonsense. <laughs> I really should, though. You guys can. Pause it or whatever. It's just talking about shit. Oh, we lost our sound. What the hell? Oh, we're frozen. Hold on, guys. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. No idea what happened. I just, uh, unplugged my capture card and plugged it back in. Reset it. So hopefully it all behaves. Everything's looking good. Anyway, um, who we can talk to this person? I'm... I'm fine. Yeah, you're not fine. We hacked this door open? No. Okay, guys, uh, anyone that's not 18, close your eyes. Sick lasers. Very cool. And this is why we need HDR on to see this, this lighting, because of course we don't have, uh, Ray tracing on PS4. Well, what? Is 
using our eye to monitor. Okay, uh, we need to find someone specific. I have a tiger. Shot in a time or two. Give me a headache. Oh, Maybe we shouldn't be checking these. If I see something, I'll turn quickly. Ugh, still feel like shit. Little hair of the dog? Yeah, yeah. You shot. Family of Empire. Ugh, all the stuff, man. Some crime family or something, most likely. Would you like anything else? It's a bit... Uh... Relax. It's on the call. What? It's hard to say. This week, for sure, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> dude's mm -hmm. chilling in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right. Like that shit, thank you. Anyway, let's, uh... That's where you can possibly find some rare stuff. Chilling in... This one's me and candy. Restrooms. On the other side, baby. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Ah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall will makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Nice. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Happen in love. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing. 
this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Hi there, fine lady. I am a big stockings fan. Oh, well, those are latex shit, but I guess take a seat. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesman. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. I'm good enough, love. I'm good enough. Let's we'll get this done, me and Jackie. Chase. We'll what get the shit done. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why's that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Probably did. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. 
Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Done. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, Though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything. Yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No. What? It can be a very useful to tool. This week for sure, good for okay? analyzing details, yeah, yeah, yeah. human perception, all right, all right, even boosted, right. doesn't mm -hmm. grasp. Mm -hmm, all right. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Uh-huh. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. Uh -huh. I trust her. Yeah, but she's yeah, a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. I don't know. Try not to forget. Mm -hmm. So, All you'll right, be a good mom. boy. Tread lightly. Yeah. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. The 
This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Let's go. Create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Slight vibration on the controller. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander. To grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things. Mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So... I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Let's rock and roll. Put it up. Mm hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and. 
Best of all, loading Plan time. Simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Okay, so we had nothing to do there, just watch. Come on, load screen, you can do it. You can do it, come on, SSD, let's go. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Ah, oh, load screens for days. If only this was PC. We would have... We'd just be flying if this was PC. No worries at all, just right through. <laughs> oh my days. I'll sever the link to the BD roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor Let's console to unpause. Don't Try be creative. It. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Should I, should rewind. I... Roll it back to the top. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash. Get out. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gong gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Uh, how do we go into... Okay. Okay, on you go! Okay, right here. Uh, visual layer, thermal layer, sound layer. Uh... Cues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap, the recording will track this. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. 
In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of Rosef, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah, Surf and Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we see. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Tell the BD to those back from the studio. Gotta go. And remember, everything's on the front of the internet. Okay, on you go. Pack of cigs, case of Rosef, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors. Cardi and yeah. Surf and Everybody! On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Look, you the mouth! Come on, come on! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. That's insane. Wow, so that's that's crazy and people pay to like do that shit and then die experience it mental oh i hope this is gonna wrap up soon we're at 35 4 35 minutes we haven't really done anything yet my word come on game yeah it's impressive right it's too bad most of the bds we do here are only good for flogging the log anyway you ready to do this look at your wreck no way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? 
Run it for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here, while I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. <sighs> Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kompeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kompeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick temp ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Pretty sick. Hopefully we can do this quickly, because we need to <laughs> wrap up this episode. And I don't want it to be two parts. Man, I don't know how the other guys get this stuff done in, like... One episode, man. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She. I felt a fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I did. No. They'll have my head for this. Then. You shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something Here in important. Here a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers. Gotta be fancy doodads in here. Need to be controlled. Finish. We shall see soon. Good. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide right. them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay. We 
We're at somewhere around here. I mean, it's still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please, with your father. Please, take a particular interest in yourself. Wow, champagne's decent. Have existed. It's boosted somehow. No, just the price. Same bubbly you'll be sipping no in real space exists. soon. Of a world that may never have existed. It's this to get by her van. This it maybe? I'm trying to see. Can you figure out where this, uh. And the security system. Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Cameras packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. So we got that over there. I think we've seen everything here we can. Listen to this. Sabro is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a that no longer exists. Have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the I am Maya. Serenity's not sight of eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure. We want now. We're not scanned this. Eat the 
documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no. provide them. Enough. to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me? Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. I'm here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. I miss this. You. I know. Where would he go? I don't know. Scan the. Per the security. I don't know what. I don't know what we're missing. Hello. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Oh, Donaghy's. 
Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. I'm annoyed. I don't know where else security stuff could be. Like, is there a security one here? I don't know. I really want to get the optional. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. And it weaves really badly too. <laughs> What we got cooling somewhere. Ah, I'm so annoyed. Where is... Thermal, I don't see it. Hello. Right, grab the heat sig, matches the spec in the docks. Your has got the case here, guaranteed. Mm hmm, we got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. I'll be right back, guys. What is happening, guys? I am back. So... I feel like there's got to be something security in the room. Like, I don't know, there's none there that I could see. Is there a motion detector in the room, maybe? It's like I'm really... V, eye on the prize, focus.
problem is you can't see the camera for thermal. There's the camera. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the next one is. I think, I don't know how many we got more to get the security. Hello? Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. There we Can't go. Get them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Interesting, that one popped up. I didn't even remember scanning that one. I wonder why it only it like took so long to pop up. It was weird. Okay. Let's get out of here. Damn. Guys, I've planned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video in half and it's going to be two parts just because it has to be. That is most likely what I'm going to do. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win, so be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit.
don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with a tag along, like a net runner. No runners. I promise. See ya. Gee, one sec. That was weird, it like dodged by itself. That was super weird. Okay, let's end this mission already, damn. Well, what do you think? Give me a second. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. Job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V. I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. You're not worried? The base, shit. Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Get away from Packed that base. Big names. Much bigger than mine. There we go, that's better. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? No, I gotta get back from that. Hey, we weren't finished. I think I see how you know so much about your no. Nice talking to you. No, I need to get I think away I from. I see how you know so much about your nobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex. Biz, and biz only. You sure your nobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, what are you doing? Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Hey, we weren't finished. Oh my gosh, I'm just dying from the base. So, what now? Way too loud. V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Legend is pretty cool. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Get How are things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. 
Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. B. Ma, what a sweet little face you have. Going in or staying out? Okay, so I think I might do this in two parts, guys. The informant part one, the informant part two. You don't want to fuck with me. The ship. Hmm, I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I really don't wanna... Man... I don't wanna... Screw over decks, man. I really don't want to. There is a job to pay the guy. Where is it to pay? I'll find it and do it just before. Just before the next episode. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Wanted, one star. One star. One star. Street cred. Super low. Why are they... Wanted, wanted in Night City. But I can't do anything to him? Why not? Weird. Why are they green? I guess because it's on that turf. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by for these episodes. Um, there'll be a weird cut, and they'll probably be released on the same day, just so you can we can knock that mission out. Um, I think I'll do that when this part one and part two like that. Possibly do same day uploads. One in the morning, one in the afternoon for those ones. I'm not too sure yet. I still got to decide if I do or if I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you for joining me for the informant. Um, no matter what, part one will, will just end. It'll fade out. Um, and then part two will fade in. Um, and just continue where we left off. So that'll be funny. Uh, so apologies for any bad cuts or anything like that. Hope you guys are keeping safe. Thank you for the support. Please follow the rules. I hope you're enjoying our revisit to Cyberpunk 2077. I'm enjoying the game. It's a lot smoother now. Running smooth, looking good. Can't wait to get some more. Hopefully... These, uh, these missions shorten up so we don't have to have these shitty um, cut, cut up episodes and that type of stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.